In MATLAB, we can use a matrix to store data, coefficients of equations, or results of mathematical calculations. In many applications, we want to extract a subset of a matrix, which could then be used for further analysis. As an example, consider a matrix M. To extract a single element from a matrix, we start by identifying the row and the column number and use them in this syntax. Notice that in the MATLAB command, we enter the variable name, followed by the open parenthesis, the row and the column numbers, and the close parenthesis. The row number and the column number, also known as the row index and the column index, are separated by a comma. By assigning an output variable, we can store the extracted element in a new variable named S1. To extract multiple elements, such as rows 2 and 3 of column 2, we create a vector containing the row numbers using the square brackets and use that vector as the row index. In situations where we want to extract elements from a sequence of rows in a matrix, instead of entering all the row numbers, we can create the row index using the colon operator. In this case, 2 colon 4 will create a vector with elements 2, 3, and 4. Thus, to extract all the rows from column 2, we use this syntax. Because extracting an entire column from a matrix is a common occurrence in many different applications, the MATLAB language contains a shorthand notation for referring to a complete column. By replacing the row index by a single colon, we indicate that we want to extract the entire column specified by the column index.